Hi mates, it's me, Sam, the, the nerd, and today I'm continuing on Undertale. It's pretty been pretty long. This, <laughs> yeah. Oh, it sounds. Don't, don't. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for every your every action. You will be judged. For every EXP you've gained. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It's that's for execution points. Oh my. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough, enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. Oh my, the way to, of measuring someone's cap capacity to, to hurt, the more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more e easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Oh gosh. <laughs> but you, you never gain any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive, just that you can certain tenderness in your heart. No matter st the struggles or hardship you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you run away, you did, did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Yeah. Maybe not. No. You are about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the, end, the, the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgar will take her soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgar and go home, Master will remain trapped on the ground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get, get this far by giving up, did you? No, I did not. That's right. You have something called determination. Oh my. As long as you hold on, as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Wow. That was magical. All right, just checked the freaking if I was recording. <laughs> All right, throne room. There's a save point. Uh, save throne entrance. What the hell is here? What's here? It's stairs. And what's under the stair? What the hell? It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Sa it's a. What the fuck? That's. This is. That's messed up. Well. <coughs> off to fight Asgur, I guess. <coughs> yeah. Dum dee dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh gosh. 
Oh. I so badly want, want, want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Yeah, I know. Nice day today. Yeah, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Damn. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Alright. It's a throne. It's another throne covered with a white sheet. Oh gosh. Throne room. Mm, ouch. Don't become. Uh, I. Ouch. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Gosh, oh gosh, I I scratched a little too deep and now it, my face is hurting a little. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Damn. The end. Whoa! This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. I continue. I see. This is it then. Ready? Oh my. Let's do this. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination, human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Holy shit! No mercy! Escort attacks. Okay, I did bring that fucking pie. Check. Escort. 80 at 80 defense. Okay. Ouch. Talk. You quite the tell Esker you don't fight him. He sent tremble for a moment. Okay. You tell Esker that you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Oh gosh! Astronaut foot, yeah. Alright. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Yeah, okay. Alright. Okay, time to fight! Oh gosh. This is the first time actually fighting. One third. Ouch! God damn it! Uh, Glamburger, your hips. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, fuck! Fuck! 
That this battle is hard. Alright. One for seven damage. This this fucking attack. Oh god, no. Fuck. All right. Let's go. No more talking. Ouch. Maybe talking. I I don't know. Uh, all right. Uh, ouch. <laughs> Two more hits and I'm I'm dead. Alright. Glamburger. Ba 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 da da one twenty-four damage. Alright. Yeah, no. <clears throat> I'm bad at this game. Oh, fuck. This is a tough battle, actually. Not that difficult to spike, but still very fucking hard. Ouch. Too bad. Fuck! That doesn't look really, really cool in that dress. It sort of, sort of makes me feel like I could wear one too. Wear one. Go for it. There you are, Terry. You're always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. <laughs> Tra la la, careful ride. Yeah. Then we're off. Tra la la, what's inside an acorn? It's really just a mystery. Butterscotch by Tralala. Careful, right? Yeah. Where will you go? Hotland. Then we're off. Pet, pet, pet. The next stretch is infinitely into the cosmos. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, let's get back to it. Ready? Yeah. Time to fight. Or well, I will talk. You tell Escort that he's killed you twice before. He not sadly. Oh. You tell Escort that you don't want to fight him. He's brave and gets funny for a moment. Ouch. You firmly tell Asgard to stop fighting. Reco collection fields in his eyes. Asgard's attack drops. His defense drops. Alright.
Alright. Dodge this freaking fireballs. Ouch. Ouch. Nope. Pie. You had the butter scratch pie. Your head spill was maxed out. That smell reminds me of Esker something. Esker attack. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Boom! 157 damage. Ooh. Ouch. 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 Nope. Such a hard fight. Alright, alright. Oh, okay. There we go. Ba 136 damage. <laughs> Fight! There we go! Ouch! Yeah, eat the clam burger. Wait, are those fire Are those fire pi pillar sheets smaller? <laughs> I don't know who is. So, I don't know. Oh fuck! That was intense. One for six. Oh my gosh. Then one for seven damage. Oh gosh. There we go. It, this becomes unpredictable. Oh gosh. Fuck! No. Oh gosh! Oh gosh, that was. Okay. That was a close one, actually. Fuck! One at five. This attack gets more intense uh, as he loses HP. Got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Starfate! You, uh... Oh gosh... There we go. Low HP. Ouch! That was... Uh. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free of us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy the humanity and uh, let monsters through surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with the, my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I don't, do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted to, everyone to have a hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This is this war has gone on long enough. You have the power to 
power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Mercy. <coughs> After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than, than live happily on the surface. Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in, in the living room telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like family. What the? Wait, flower? Wait, no! What the hell? What the hell? You idiot! You haven't learned anything yet! Thing in this world, it's kill or be killed. What the hell? What the fuck? What the hell?